marks the start of the gardening season in Calgary, and outdoor design expert Carson Arthur is here. One of our favorites from City Line, uh, top garden hacks for the backyard or the balcony. Good morning to balcony. you. Good morning. Good morning, Calgary. Yes, you're excited so, to be here because we kind of get to do some more things. Well, I'm a little jealous right now. Got off the airport and everything was green and yes. full and beautiful. We've and I was lucky. just in Vancouver. It's almost the same. You it's guys great. are having it good right now. Okay. But. That comes with a bit of a price. Yes. So a lot of people have already been out planting their vegetable mm -hmm. gardens and putting things in the ground. They probably shouldn't have been just yet. It's a little bit early. Some I'm people guilty. got caught. Did you get caught? Oh, I got caught. I, I killed a pepper. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> a little Not early for peppers. Yet. We want some more heat. It is coming. So peppers and tomatoes hold off on. Brassicas, peas, cabbages, good to go. Yes. Plant them now. This is the weekend to do it. Kale. Beets. Yeah, absolutely. But we're also going to be smart about the things that we're doing in our outdoor spaces. Okay. This year's going to be hot. It Help is us going be to smart. be. It is going to be hot. We can blame El Nino all we want, but we know this is going to be a dry one. Good. We're seeing everything happening around Alberta, so we want to conserve water. So okay. I'm going to give garden hacks specifically to conserving water. Okay, and I you, see diapers here. You, you What's mentioned this the all diapers. About? Okay, so <laughs> this was on Facebook for a little while. Yeah. People were talking about the filler inside diapers. I'm going to rip this open here. So it's this stuff in here. This yeah. padding that's inside diapers. See that? Yeah. So that padding is actually hydrophil. Okay. Okay, so it's actually a hydrosilica gel. It's the same stuff that florists use in their vases. Is that right? You can throw a diaper, just like this one, straight into the bottom of your flower pot, like that. It will hold 10 cups of water. Come on. Yeah, actually, sorry, 9 cups of water, but you can put your flowers right on top of the diaper. It will hold water, it will preserve more water in the pot, and it's lightweight. So your plants will root so you're not right in there. your rocks and everything else. No, in there. rocks is a big myth. Don't do it anymore. Okay. Especially if you're on a condo or a balcony and you want to do some lightweight planting, throw a diaper in the bottom. It's fantastic. And if you're a parent, then you know those eight cups. <laughs> you know exactly. You know what that feels like. Exactly. Another thing that you want to invest in, especially if you want to look after your lawn this year, this is a rain gauge. Mm -hmm. Okay. We know in Calgary that your lawn needs an inch and a half of water per week. Got so it. every Sunday, what you're going to do is you're going to check your rain gauge to see how much water actually fell. Excellent. If you don't have an inch and a half. Half, turn on your sprinklers. Okay, we're going to have brownout periods throughout the city and yeah. throughout the area, but turn on your sprinklers when you're allowed. Fill it up to an inch and a half. Turn off your sprinklers. Empty out your rain gauge. Go again for another Start week. from scratch. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. We're You'll be also, making those measurements this weekend. Yeah, it's yeah. true. Also, this is a leaf bag or a mulch bag for the back of your lawnmower. Mm -hmm. Ordinarily, we always talk about people taking the thatch, taking the clippings off the grass. Okay. This year, we're going to go against all the tradition with your lawnmower. What? Take the bag off. You want the clippings in the lawn. For really? All the way until July. Absolutely. We now know that thatch on the lawn actually protects the roots. Okay. So it prevents them from drying out. So you'll actually help your lawn by putting thatch down. In the fall, really? when we get a little bit more rain and the temperatures are cooler, rake it up. Okay. But for the summer, leave it down. Leave it down. Isn't that easy? That's so fantastic. if you're one of those competitive lawn people, that's going to be your secret edge? Yes. Leave the thatch. All right. Okay. Another thing that you can do, and this is one of the big issues that people have this particular weekend, is when they're putting plants in the ground, mm -hmm. they actually misspace the, the gaps between the too plants. Close, too close. Too close. So yep. they're in competition with each other. Take a shovel, just like this, measure it out and put the gradients right on the handle. This is really smart. This is so easy. Now you know exactly how much space you can put in between the plants, and it's on your shovel. So when if the plant says 18 inches, 18 inches, space it out, off you go, and you're done. Great. So simple. And I just yeah, did it, it took 30 happening. seconds. Yeah, that's, that's happening. That's such a good one. Okay. All right, we got time for another one? We do. Okay. We have 30 seconds. This year, grass is going to be traveling. Okay. And that, what that means is you're going to be watering your flowers, your plants, and your gardens a lot more, and your lawn is going to be hungry. It's going to want to travel as well. Mm -hmm. So it's going to want to go into your flower beds. Edging this year is so important. One of my favorite hacks is on your string trimmer. This is the Black & Decker string trimmer. Yeah. You can actually just flip it right over okay. like that and trim right into the edge of the flower bed. Oh, so, ho, ho. Yeah, so you don't have to actually get out the hoe or anything and dig it out. You can do it with your string trimmer. Straight across, create the perfect edge, cut the grass. You want to go three to four inches down to prevent the roots from spreading, and you're done. That is so efficient. Simple. Yes. Absolutely. And water saving, which is so important for this year. Okay, that is great. Great tips, and you're sticking around. So Carson's going to answer your questions. BT Calgary is where you can find us on Facebook and on Twitter. 